Commissar is brought up into line. Field of eight, downhearted. $2.40 on the NTOP. It's your favourite here for race number four. The Wildfire Blooms Handicap. Levers pulled, we're off and racing. Starter caught them in another good line. Commissar was a little bit a uh, little bit antsy there at the start and unfortunately costed it a few lengths, but it's made up the ground and whizzes past both Lake Jackson and Flying Tormentor. They leave Heath Road and head down the back part of the straight now where we see Downhearted up in front. It's leading no problems here on the outside of it. Uh, keeping it company is the top weight, Bell's Lad at the 1,000. It's about five lengths, Electric Crimson. Another length and a half to Hareb's time Commissar was next then came Reconnect Lake Jackson is another further five lengths back and spotting the leader by about 25 lengths as Flying Tormentor as they approach the 700 meter mark where it's Downhearted who leads here by a neck on Bell's Lad it's five lengths for Reb's time and then following them was uh, Electric Crimson then came the Grey Reconnect Commissar was next followed by Lake Jackson who's got plenty to do from there first up and behind them as well was Flying Tormentor at the back they've got a about 350 metres left to travel in the market favourite here. First up on the dirt and in the NT from the Mick Price stable. Now with Gary, Gary Clark. It's Downhearted who's out in front. Hareb's Time's making chase though. Electric Crimson looks a bit out of petrol. Hareb's Time gets the measure of uh, Downhearted. It's Hareb's Time here in race number four. Gets home by three quarters of a length for Raymond Vigar and Tayan Halter. Second was Day Downhearted. Third there in the run was Electric Crimson. Reconnect was next. Flying Tormentor flew home. Then following them in the run was Lake Jackson, Commissar and Bell's Lad pulling up.